Hey, check this out. This is second take. Who got that fire? Surviving the nineties with right. not under none other than V ninety, aka Crazy A, aka V Neezy, aka wow. fucking ninety water. And as KL say, V nine o the wino. V nine o the wino. So that is my uh, Gmail. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, V90. So let me ask you, man. I know you're from the legendary New Orleans. Can you give me a little bit about how you got your start? Where you where you from? Well, we were like my my people lived in the Cali. We had to live with them for a little minute. You understand me? Then we went moved to the St. Thomas Project. You know what I'm saying? Uptown. And we lived over there for a minute, went to Laurel Elementary. You understand me? Then we moved to the sixth wall. Downtown. Downtown. You know what I'm saying? What, what, the, what the world know as Treme area because we had that uh, that sitcom over there. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's why I was from the sixth wall, man. But then when we got like going to college in 85, we built my mama house in the ninth wall. My dad, my stepdad, me and my brother, we, we built her house in the nine on Desire Street, which is Kilimanjaro, just like everywhere else. So fuck, it is what it is. So, I, you said you went to college. Where did you go to college? Went to U of H, man. University of Houston. All right. Yeah. All right. And um, yeah. I mean, so did you play any sports? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got on up and then I played. Uh, I had a lot of scholarships. Matter of fact, let me back you up a little bit, man. All right. You understand? I was a very good basketball and baseball player. I played football too, but I was younger. My birthday came at the end of the year, so I couldn't play with certain teams. Of, like, for example, when I'm in my junior high, right there too. when I'm in junior high. I had to play for NORD, New Orleans Recreation Department. And I couldn't play for the high school at the time because my birthday came at the end of the year. I was still too young. So I still had to play with the New Orleans Recreation Department. Then, which is NORD, you know, but it was lovely. And then as I got to high school, I couldn't play football because it came at the wrong time of the year. No, no. Walked on. I had scholarships. I had like Forty two scholarships. I'm saying like Louisville, everywhere. I was a I was a beast, man. Was the my middle name was Rahul. That's a Russian <laughs> name, man. I was a beast from the Middle East, man. How many, how many, how many, how many, how many, how many scholarships? Four dudes? Man, I had about forty two. That's all. That's all. It's about forty two. Lightweight four dudes. Wait, see what your name was? Versus called a middle name Rahul. <laughs> you know, that's a Russian. Back then the Russian was a motherfucker. So they, they gave the middle name of Russian. Russian still a motherfucker. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, I, I'm telling you something. Look, nine years old, seven, eight, nine years old. All that we played against. I was playing downtown All Star. People was playing uptown All Star. Then and, and big head now. So check this out. Hold on, check it out. Okay. When you mentioned P, mm -hmm. if y'all know you heard this, Marcy, you mentioned P. Tell them who you mean by P. Master P, person middle. Okay. So is that how you? The Colonel. How did you meet? How did you initially get into it with like P? How did you meet? Me and P played ball against each other six, seven, eight years old. You know what I'm saying? He played with down the Uptown All Star. Him, Ty Cooper, and them with the more ugly ass orange and gray suits. We had that red, white, and blue gangster shit from downtown. You understand me? So we come uptown and play them. They whip their ass, of course. You understand me? And, and we make make move with us. We go do what we do. Wait, V, so you and P was at Fly Sound? Well, we 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 talking about me and P at nine, eight, nine, ten years old first. Nice. Wait, 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 and then we went to he went to Santa Monica, and I went to Bell. All right. So we left Bell and got scholarship to go to St. Ogg. Bell was hard. So yeah, but what St. Ogg? Yeah, played against Brian Ford and all them boys at Wilson. All right. You know, yeah, so, Wilson. Yeah, Bell and Wilson. We it was a thing to go at each other. A robbery. The robbery. So you know, we we want something. They want something. I ain't gonna lie. I'm keeping gutter like peanut butter. Remember? So you know, we had nice little <laughs> shit, Jeremy. But the thing about us is when we played ball. We ain't give a fuck, nigga. We call each other, brother, what you doing tomorrow? Nigga, we gonna go to such a park. I walk down Broad Street, come up across the bridge, we meet Pete, you know what I'm saying, me? Uh, and um, we go hooping. We don't care what we hoop, we just hoop all day. You know what I'm saying? We leave for breakfast, come home at, when the light about to come on. Uh -huh. uh, Big P come and get your fucking ass, you hear me? Big Percy, uh -huh. Master P daddy. So we was all hanging in the Cali and shit. He was security. 
You know, he thought he was fucking uh, Depot. You hear me? <laughs> but that's how nigga respected him back then. So, you hear me? So, he was a security, but he made sure you could do right. So, you man, how, how, we'll so, see. so how, how you and man and all them up there? Y'all all come up together? All us come up together. So we were like you, brothers you, since man. me, Earl, you man, man, P, Pokey. Uh, that was the, that was like all us was all yeah we been right. since we was young all us was ball players yeah. we don't give a fuck where you play ball that nigga you a player let's go play all right I'm talking about we go from uptown downtown across the river lakeside all that metric I just, I just knew yeah, that yeah, all yeah. that as security you no know, like, no no the, see what happened was the basketball team but see let me tell you something all us played and, and went to school together all us went to Booker T so this was throwback see yeah this throwback yeah. you see what I'm saying and um. Oh, let's play basketball, man. We're good ball players. Everybody, everybody. Pokey can play? Huh? Pokey. Pokey was on the Juju team. We call it Juju <laughs> team. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's a Juju team? Well, that's what I'm about to explain. So we call it. Pokey's got short, you know, like Well, see, like Pokey, Pokey's main thing was, Pokey was the punter of our football team at Booker T. The punter? But Pokey kicked punt. Pokey mm -hmm. was a punter and a kicker. Mm -hmm. Pokey kicked. 55 yards in high school. Well, Pokey wasn't hitting nobody big as his ass was. Man, oh, you Pokey see the was. On that boy? Listen yeah, that to me. Pokey nice. wasn't that. Pokey was big, built. Look, find the motherfucker. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what I'm talking about? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know how motherfuckers be walking whoa. through the old. You know what I'm talking about, man. You know me. I was in the 5'9, 165. You know, little point guard. I'm doing whatever. Little, little pressure. Yeah, I'm pressure. Oh, you play point guard. You heard me? You play point guard. I come to that motherfucker, you heard it? <laughs> That's fresh. Fresh. You understand me? Fresh. Nigga, boy, I was, I was Mr. Bitty run up in 1979. Ooh. The only reason I became run up, because we lost to Puerto Rico. And then back then, you had to win to be MVP of the Mr. Mr. Bitty, Bitty. run up, what, what year that is? 79, 1979. You know what, I'm saying? what age group that is, the Bitty? 10. 10 to what? That was 10. We wasn't doing it. No, there wasn't no 10, 11. Once you get to... A certain year, a um, time of the year, you had to play for the 12 years. So that's when they put the thing on the gold? In the, in the, the no, we ain't had the thing on the gold. Oh, was, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it was. All right, the bitty. Like yeah. you got the 10 for gold? Yeah, you put the and thing on the gold. And we snapped the thing right. on the gold and it hang down to like that's eight. Right. The bitty, because yeah, you that's could big. dunk on him and everything. No, you couldn't dunk back then. Because he wasn't supposed to. Yeah, you couldn't dunk back then. You couldn't dunk to the Yeah, he, they, 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 get, they get rid of you. We can touch the rim. I'm saying we can jump that high on. I remember the bitty goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he got me, but look here. The thing about it was, I was the man on the, on the real, my nigga. Man. I did my part. They got a lot of niggas who was bad. Don't get me wrong. But for my name, ask, go read the, go read the black and white. <laughs> Tom picking you. Let me ask you this. Come on with it. So, all right, after college. College? Uh, after college, the beginning of No Limit. Tell me, tell me a little bit about your position in the beginning stages of No Limit, what you were doing? Man, with No Limit. See, No Limit, my No Limit is before Down South No Limit. See, I'm one of the throwback. throwback. I ain't gonna say the original because they had the other crew before I came to California. Enjoy. You understand? So, I, um, I was called one day. Brr, Say, God, what's happening? Say, chilling, dog, what's happening with you? Say, man, you still rap? Say, yeah, I still flow like the ocean, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm a belly boy. Hmm, you know what I'm saying? Ow. So, you know, but then <laughs> we had a little, we had a little, little confrontation one day. And my main man was like kind of skeptical about these little cats. But them little cats knew I was an asshole at the time. So everything was cool. So he was like, man, them niggas ain't trying nothing. I said, man, I'm fucking the boys, man. I'm about this shit, and I've been, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been tilting tacos, cut. <laughs> so he was like, fuck that. We going back home tomorrow. So we went back to California, went to Trace and Underwood. <laughs> Nigga got me some calls, say, head of security. So that's what I was at No Limit, head of fucking security. And I guarantee you, because I can't guarantee you nothing. <laughs> Every motherfucker made it home. Every trip. I might have not made it home, but I gave my mom a list. Every motherfucker was on a trip. Call them up, make sure they're there. For shiggity. How was it? Um I would ask, I want to ask, how was it in the beginning stages in regards to like concerning the music and the promotion of the music and things like that? Well, see, Pete build this brand, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? He uh cut a deal with priority. See, a lot of people don't know this. See, they talk all that shit. No Limit Records was an independent. <clears throat> Who signed with Priority at the time was a fucking independent. So P had to get up because we were slinging shit out the trunk of the car in California. So P was like, fuck yeah, I don't need y'all to do that. So they offered him something. So he was like, fuck yeah, I don't need y'all to do that. So we kept slinging trunk, tapes out of trunk. Next thing you know, P inked the deal with him. And the deal was, I think it was like a P&D, you know what I'm saying? Promotion distribution deal. Yeah, press so, and Yeah, press and distribution. So, you know, P was doing his own thing. We was out there hustling, you know what I'm saying? And we had the street. P had the street. Right. So I don't need y'all to do this. So when they offered him the money, he said, no, I'm going to do this. Offered them 20. Back then, majority of the artists was getting 15%. So when they came at P, fuck y'all. But when they came back, their mind was changed because he had gained notability, notoriety. You know what I mean? Got, yeah, he did his thing, dog. And that's when he in 85-15 deal. Mm. See? He get 85, priority get 15. Cha-ching. Mm -hmm. All the rest of the people was getting 15%. Mm -hmm. He got 85, priority 15. And it wasn't until he went borrow some money against the deal that made it 80-20. Mm -hmm. He's still getting the 80. You guys, Puffy. Puffy still, Puffy used to ask us all the time. Man, how the fuck y'all get all that? Man, that man did his thing, man. Mm. You understand me? For shiggity. Okay. Y'all to give it to him, cuz. Absolutely. I, I feel one of the greatest hustlers in the hey, game. Hey, man, one, one time for the hustle. <laughs>